Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. It's time for The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 1. It has been a long while since I checked this out. I don't remember when the last season was. It was well before The Book of Boba Fett, which I did not check out. You know, I heard there was two uh, Mando-centric episodes. Last season, we had a whole bunch of stuff with Ahsoka and... Um, I forget Bill Burr's character. I have looked forward to getting back into this universe, particularly this corner of it. Anywho's, let's get to it. Season 2 felt so long ago. Like, the only thing I really remember from Season 2 is the, uh, shockingly fantastic Bill Burr performance. That is sexy. That I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. And the words of the Creed shall be forever forged in my heart. And the words of the Creed This is not a flashback. This is present day. It looks it at least. No filter on it. Uh oh. That looks great. What did that cost? Had all them VFX artists trapped in a room somewhere. <laughs> Jesus, that looks great. Can we go home? Get out! That's dope. Go ahead. Woohoo! Damn. I'm gonna get washed, so to speak. That alligator death roll. You got to do. I can't get over how good that looked. <laughs> that theme is so dope. <laughs> what a way to start. Mendo always looks exhausted. But a traveler was able to retrieve this. So perhaps it is not poisoned. <laughs> and I will see you again. Maybe Yoda's still adorable. Grogu. I'm not calling him Grogu. Maybe Yoda's way too easy. Ah. Don't press anything. Mando! Yeah. <laughs> I heard you were back, but I didn't. It's a hell of an outfit. Live off the fat of the land. Grogu. Come again? His name is Grogu. Oh, if you say so. Come, I want to show you something. Oh, I care. A parcel. Available right down here by the flat. <laughs> I Your timing couldn't be any worse. But it's just that there's someone here to see you. It can wait. But it's pirates. Uh oh. The courtyard. This, this is a school. Well, that explains why she wouldn't let me inside. <laughs> I forgot once. You're cut of my boss's treasure that built this saloon. Oh, Jesus. Join me for a drink back in my office. We'll toast to your captain. We drink here. Why? Why are you being difficult? Fool. There's a problem here. What do you think? Not if you serve me a drink. <laughs> Not in my school. You hear that, boys? His school. You heard him. You know, Sounds the like you went soft. Throw their life away so easily. <laughs> really? Okay. Didn't even kill him. Aren't you a badass? Sure you want to let him go? Yeah, what are we doing? Show him! He'll let it be known that Navarro is respectable now. I'm sure that's exactly what he'll do. Can't seem coming back for revenge for any kind. What about Marshal Doom? After she brought in Moff Gideon, she was recruited by special forces. What right. Of Gideon? Uh, that's why. He was sent to... I mean, what's left of him? We were lucky to recover any of his parts after he self-destructed. 
That's hilarious. I need a droid I can trust to help me explore man. His death was so beautiful. Why are we ruining it? Hilarious. I don't mean to shame the brother. But if we're gonna do the soy sauce on the head, you've gotta do the soy sauce on the beard. Or go gray both. This matte black hair, <laughs> this <laughs> this snow white beard ain't the look, Chief. As a to terminate. Wow. Right to it. As a Mango, shoot it! Shoot it! Been shooting it, sir. Good job. Now that's using your head. The Ancelans. What do you want? I don't know why it's funny, man. Kink peaks. They're not friends anymore. <laughs> Memory circuit broken. <laughs> he says the they're hard to find. He said they don't make them anymore. They're very hard to find. I got it. Don't say hope we're getting us at this point. Seriously. He says he's got a new one. <laughs> if the Anzellans can't find it, I don't know who can. Safe travels. <laughs> A vast Mandalorian. You can't Shocking. just sneak away after cutting down four of my brothers. <laughs> Flabbergasted. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> Has anyone got eyes on the Mandalorian? Not yet. That's a great voice. Awesome. Like some villain just hunting him down. Awesome. That's a great shot. Oh shit. That is great. All this just to kill him? This is extreme. Surrender your ship and I'll spare your life. Who is that? Go. Okay. Disgusting. That's gorgeous. Do you still have the saber? No. Nah. And I'll do whatever you say. That's what she said. So you gave up your designs to retake Mandalore? Don't mind me. That planet has been ravaged, plundered, and poisoned. You said that the curse was a lie. Make up your mind. <laughs> and I will find out if the planet is really poisoned. Goodbye, Din Djarin. All right, that was episode one of season three, the season premiere of The Mandalorian. Where to begin exactly? Hmm. Start with positives, because I'm a good person. Uh, I enjoyed this episode. Music is always fantastic. Mando and Grogu, baby Yoda, are fan a fantastic parent. I even enjoyed the, um, that'd be nice. I was going to say the shilling for toys that they always do in these episodes where they introduce these characters that are adorable. Please buy this. Um, I enjoyed the mechanics a lot. They were fun. They were very fun. Matter of fact, um, hmm, it's my favorite part of the episode. You know what? I think it was actually. Between that and the um, showdown with the pirates, which was fun. Uh, Carl Weathers is always great and everything. I don't, even with his soy sauce hair, I, I still love him. I love you, sir. Keep it up. Um, I will say the finish felt light, all things considered. Like, this is the premiere of The Mandalorian. That felt like a very light finish. Um, oh, wait a minute. I can't forget about the, um, I'm going to assume CGI. Though Disney has the money to biologically engineer a fake a uh, gigantic crocodile or a real gigantic crocodile. I'm going to assume it was CGI. That looked gorgeous. That looked perfect. Where's that been my whole life? Jesus. That was very well done. Uh, I'm not. I'm not mad at the. 
at least the opening arc I expect Mando to have, which is to regain his uh, status as a Mandalorian um, because he took his helmet off like several times. He's taken it off quite a few times. Um, not mad at it. I'm paying Pedro Pascal his goddamn money. Take your helmet off. Um, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not mad at the the story, though it feels light. I hate to keep using that word, but that's how I feel. Uh, a major complaint is kind of not this show's fault, but still, like bring this robot back. I'm so against bringing back dead characters. Um. I don't say so against. It depends on the circumstance. This is not a great circumstance. Like it's not necessary. The death was beautiful. You know, anytime anybody else dies, I'm gonna feel like, eh, he brought back eventually. Didn't they just do that? I heard they did that with. I don't want to spoil it for you, all those of you who didn't see it. But um, a particular character at the end of the Book of Boba Fett. I was like, well, then what are we doing here? Like, what are we doing? If people get shot and it doesn't matter, what exactly are we doing? It's a Star Wars problem. It's a Marvel problem. It's uh, and I think they I heard they did it in um. Oh, it's gonna bug me. It's Star Wars related. Oh, Obi Wan. Yes, I I just listen to random podcasts and things on instead of watching. I just listen. <laughs> I haven't heard anything about Andor yet, so I might do that later. Um, but yeah, it's like then don't put him in that position if you're gonna bring him back, especially if you're not bringing him back for like a major thing. You just bring it back as a fucking cheat code for a plot point. That aside, I enjoyed this episode. Didn't sound like it, but it did. I look forward to the next. Probably have a friend join me. For the next few, at least. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.